guys, so today's video is going to be my 2017 favourite. So basically this is everything that I've loved throughout 2017. Obviously some of them might not be new to 2017, but it's sort of what I've, I've found basically and what I love. So we're going to start off with brows basically. So the first product is this Benefit Brow Veil Conditioning Primer. So it looks like so and you twist it up and basically product comes out and like you brush it through the brows. So it's like, um, obviously a conditioning primer, so it's going to condition the brows. And what I find that it also does is that it sort of gives like this texture to them, kind of like if you put an eyebrow gel on, that's kind of what this does. So you let it dry for a couple of minutes and then like you go in with your brow pencil and I just find that it's easier to apply a brow product when I'm using this and it's meant to like enhance your brows, like, um, make them grow and stuff as well which I haven't noticed but I don't use it like every single day to like notice anything like that but I do really really love this so the next brow product is from Anastasia so this is her brow wiz I did try the benefit pencil and I didn't like it I didn't like the soap and glory pencil so I've always gone back to this one like I just feel like this is the best one out there I am going to try different drugstore ones because I just want to see what compares but the Soap and Glory one I definitely didn't like but I know NYX do one that's meant to be really good so I do really want to try that but um, basically this is in the shade Taupe and yeah it's, it's just a really good brow product. So the next product is from L'Oreal so basically Benefit have discontinued Give Me Brow for now they're meant to be bringing it back soon i don't know when um my cousin heard in january but whether or not that's true i don't know and i lost my give me brow so i couldn't repurchase it because obviously they discontinued it but this is probably the next best product to that give me brow so this is the l'oreal brow artiste plumper so this is in the shade light medium and when you put it out the one just looks like so and this is sort of like what i use to sort of brush through the front of my brows because i don't like too much product in the front but yeah, it does a really good job of doing that and I really do enjoy it. So the next product is from NARS. So this is a smudge proof eyeshadow base. So basically it is a clear product. So obviously if you like something with colour, then you're not going to really enjoy this. But I do feel like it's, it's basically smudge proof, but everything blends really well, like all the eyeshadows and everything. So I really do enjoy this product and I've had it for a while now, as you can see it's a bit beat up, but it's still getting strong and I still really love it. So the next product is from Essence. So this is I Heart Colour Intensifying Base. Now this one does have colour to it. So it has like this sort of pinky undertone. And this is so affordable. This is like, I think it's £2.50. And it's a really good eyeshadow base. And it definitely intensifies like colours. Like especially the um, sort of shimmer colour that you might put on your lids. So I really, really do enjoy this one as well. Um, if I had to pick between this and the NARS one, I'd actually go for this one. I just feel like this is just a little bit better, but I still really do love the NARS one, but this one's just, it has a, has like a hold on my heart at the minute. So I'm not going to stay here for long and talk about this, but basically I've seen this in everyone's favourite videos that I've watched so far. So this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, honestly, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It has everything that you need in it from like some blue some purple some pinks and then sort of your more neutral colors as well like i just feel like it's an, it's such a good palette but i also really do love the morphe 35o palette but so if you're going to pick between that and this definitely go for this one it's a little bit more pricey not too much pricey like oh my god it's ridiculous but um honestly it's just such a beautiful palette and yeah i really do love this so the next product is from Kat Von D. So this is a Metal Crush eyeshadow. So this is a bold pigment. Let me just get it out of the packaging. So this is in the shade Thunderstruck. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful, especially as like an in the corner highlight. It just looks so pretty. And I really, really just love this. The shade of it and everything. Like it's just, it's just so perfect. Like, and I don't know, like it's so creamy and it's just really good little eyeshadow pigment i've never tried it as highlight i wonder what it's like as highlight i think it'd be absolutely stunning but it's just it's like this white gold sort of reflex to it it's so beautiful so the next product is also from kat von d so this is the tattoo liner in trooper 
this is honestly so amazing and i struggle with liquid eyeliner like i don't know what it is it can either be really good one day and really bad the other but this one i just feel like you can get like a really fine tip and sort of just everything just draws into place really well but you can also color it in it's super black it's just it's just like the perfect eyeliner really and i've still got a tester it's probably about half the size of this and it's still going strong and i've been using it for a while now so i really do love this product and i think it's absolutely amazing for a liquid eyeliner so the next product is mascara so this is the l'oreal waterproof mascara so basically what it is i have very straight lashes and nothing holds them so I always have to use eyelash curlers and I always have to use a waterproof mascara otherwise my eyelashes just go and like block back down in like five seconds. So basically you get a primer on one side which is just a white primer which I'm not too fond of that side I'll just put a little bit of that on and then basically you have mascara. It's super black and obviously like I said it holds lashes really really well. Um, it was between this and the Maybelline one. I think it's that Maybelline Rocket Mascara. It was like, yeah, black waterproof. Which I did really love for a long time. But the formula can be quite wet. And when you pull your brush out, I feel like you get a lot on the brush as well. So you have to wipe a lot off to get a non-clumpy look. Whereas this don't do that. Like, you can literally just pull it out and off you go. Like, it's good to go kind of thing. So, yeah, L'Oreal Double Extension Waterproof Mascara. So the next parts are lashes. So I just wanted to give a quick mention to the Eyelore Strip Lash Adhesive Glue. I really enjoy this and the one thing I love about it is the wand as well. I've changed eyelash glue at the minute. I'm using the Duo Glue I think it's called. Which is good and everything but trying to get it out onto the lashes. I feel like it's so messy because you're trying to like squeeze it and sometimes it just goes and everything goes everywhere. So I like the fact that this has like a little wand so you can be a bit more precise with it. And yeah, it holds my lashes really well as well. So I have no complaints about this one. So, lashes. So, the first ones are the Eyelore and Nicole Guerrero Casual Glamorous. Now, the only problem with these is that I've worn them maybe two or three times. And they don't seem to hold very well. I don't know if you've seen the box. But it's like they don't want to hold the curl. And it's like no matter what I do, it's just it sort of wants to fall apart. But they're so beautiful that i'm gonna like look past that i have another pair of these you could buy these from eyelaw themselves if you're in the uk i think you can get them from walgreens if you're in the us but i know she's just come out with more i think it's like the faux mink kind of style this next but hopefully they bring those to the eyelaw website as well but these are really really beautiful we also have from girls with attitude i've only worn these a couple of times and honestly, they're so pretty. And I don't know if you can see the price tag, but three pounds. I bought these in Primark. And honestly, they're just like the most pretty lashes. Like they're so subtle, but so beautiful as well. And there's a nice like thin band as well. So they're easy to apply. And they just look really natural. Like you sort of, you have like a few lashes on and you're like a bit flirty and a bit girly. Like I just feel like they're really, really pretty. We also have from Peekaboo. So these are in the style cover girl so this these have probably been my favorite lashes since i don't know like february time maybe this year they're so beautiful and they're 12 pound a pair for foam ink lashes which i'm pretty sure is a reasonable price considering lily lashes are like 30 pound a pop and usually like if you follow them on instagram a lot of the time they do like um half price style so you can get them for like six pound which is obviously really amazing but these are just so pretty i absolutely love these these ones are extremely like extra so if you're not the biggest fan of lashes then these probably aren't going to be for you but if you love a good set of eyelashes these are absolutely amazing and they're just sort of just really flirty and fun you know we also have chloe fairy cosmetics so these are the lashes in scarlet this packaging by the way is absolutely amazing but i love these lashes i just think like they're just so pretty like when i looked at them i was a bit like oh i don't think i'm gonna like them but with them on they're just so beautiful and i don't know like you have to see them when they're on like they're just so so pretty and i absolutely love these so next products are basically going to be all about the face so 
The first primer is from The Ordinary. So this is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So basically this has like a silicone sort of feel to it. I can't really say if it does anything to the pores, like if it makes them sort of look minimised and things like that, because I don't really have trouble with pores. Like I sort of get them around my nose area, but it's nothing too bad. But it just looks really sort of nice, like laid down and like with foundation on top, because it's like a smoothing primer. So everything just looks sort of really just like airbrushed, you know? So I really do enjoy that. The next primer is from Laura Mercier. So this is a foundation primer in Blemishless. I think this is a tester. I got this in a birch box, but I've had it for a little while now, but I think it's sort of coming to the end. But it's absolutely beautiful. And it leaves like this sort of sticky feeling on your skin, which is nice for getting foundation on and sort of helping like stick to it and everything. So yet again, another really good primer. So foundation, we have the Hourglass Stick Foundation. So this is in the shade Golden. So this is like my tan colour, which is actually a little bit too dark for me, even with a tan on. But this is so freaking beautiful. I can't even describe to you how much I love this foundation. It looks flawless. In real life, it looks flawless. In pictures, it looks flawless on camera. It's just really good foundation. I know it's quite a hefty price tag, but honestly, it's, it's like, is worth it like I'm not even joking like you can add like the tiniest bit and still look absolutely amazing like you don't need to go heavy-handed with this I literally sort of like dot it along the face a little bit and blend out with a beauty blender and it looked absolutely amazing like I think it was every time I wear this foundation I always up looking at my boyfriend I'm like oh it's their foundations out again and like when everyone's like oh you look so nice in that picture I'm like it's the foundation stick it ain't me <laughs> So I really, really do love that one. Next foundation is from ELF. So this is the Flawless Finish Foundation. So this is in the shade Porcelain. I think this is a little bit too dark for me, believe it or not. I don't. They've sort of changed all the shades, shades around. Like this is now known as Natural, I think. So I don't really know what's the lightest shade and what's the darkest shade. Like it's just a whole, it's a whole mess at the minute. But um, it's such a good foundation. It's a little bit more dewy than the Hourglass one. Like this one, I, I don't even know what the finish is on it. Like I just look at my skin and I'm like, it just looks nice. Like there's, I don't know, like it just sort of like smooths out the skin. Whereas this one, you sort of have like a bit more of a dewy look and it covers really well. Basically, I feel like this is sort of the liquid foundation to the Hourglass one. So I really do enjoy this. It's beautiful. But I do prefer the Hourglass one. The Hourglass one's just a little bit more flawless. But obviously if you're on a budget then this is a really good foundation. The only downside is, is they don't have many shades. I think they have like seven which is kind of shitty. So obviously they need to get their shit together and make some more shades. Because this is a really good foundation. So the next products are concealer. So the first concealer is the Maybelline Instant, Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. So this is in the shade Light. So basically you pop the lid off and you have this little domey application this is actually such a beautiful concealer i do feel like that you go for it quite a bit like i've only used this a couple of times and i've used quite a hefty chunk of it but honestly like it's so beautiful and it's only like a couple of quid i think it's like eight pound or something i do prefer this one over the maybelline fit me one i do feel like this one's a lot better it's just such a beautiful concealer blends out really well covers really well really good concealer now, Tarte Shape Tape. This is, prob you've probably heard enough about this fucking concealer, but I do really love it. I had the shade Light. Um, we, so we, we started off rocky. We had a love-hate relationship. Like, I looked at it and I thought, like, yeah, you know what, that's a good concealer. And then other days I was just like, what the hell is going on with my under eyes? So what I like to do is I like to take a smaller brush and I'll spray, like, a bit of... um like sort of MAC Fix Plus kind of thing and I'll like dab underneath the eyes with it so I feel like it doesn't go overly dry and my under eyes don't look like absolute shit so I feel like I have to make this work but it is it's worth the work if you know what I mean so it is a beautiful concealer and to set that basically I take the RCMA no colour powder I think I do prefer this over the Laura Mercier I can't make my mind up if I like the Laura Mercier or if I don't it's just one of those powders, like, I keep using it and I look, I look at myself and I'm like, I just, I just don't know. So, this one definitely beats the Laura Mercier one for me right now. Um, it's absolutely beautiful powder, it's finely milled, it's gorgeous. You've probably heard enough about this as well, but 
honestly it's totally worth it so the next things we have are more powder so this is the bobby brown sheer finish loose powder in pale yellow so i use this to dust like all over my face and uh, it just sits the face really well it's a, you know it's a good uh, loose finishing powder um it doesn't like look too cakey either like when you put it on you're like oh god i have so much powder all over my face like it's nothing like that so i really do enjoy this powder and we also have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, even if you're oily, I don't know why I'm smelling it, I feel like you would enjoy this powder because it's nothing overly too matte. So, it, like I said, with the Bobbi Brown one, it doesn't make you cakey and things like that. So, this powder does exactly the same thing. It is translucent or transparent, whatever. It's all the same crap. <laughs> but, yeah, it's such a beautiful powder. So, for contour we have the rimmel instant duo contour stick now if you're thinking about buying the kkw one don't even bother because this beats it by far i will link the video below that i done where i compare these two this is so beautiful and it really reminds me of the kkw one as well like it's so natural so you have the highlighty side the highlighty side the highlighting side which is just absolutely stunning it's not even shimmery like when you wear it it gives like this sort of beautiful dew to the skin like you could wear it like without any makeup on and it would still look really flawless then obviously you have the contour side so this is in the shade light they do light medium and dark and it just blends out like a dream like i feel like there's just no effort to blend it out um really truly beautiful contour stick honestly amazing but obviously if you don't like cream contour then the Kat Von D shade and the light palette this is just absolutely beautiful I tend to stick with these two shades and these two shades I don't really go to this area that's more darker skin tone but um they blend out really well they contour really well it's it's everything you want in a powder really it doesn't make you look muddy or anything like that so it's really really good powders also for bronzer i love the balm cosmetics balm desert so this is what the product looks like i feel like this is good for when i'm fair and when i'm like tanned as well like when i'm tanned it gives me sort of less of a bronzier look than when i'm more fair but it's just it blends out really well it's it's just like butter really like it's so smooth and it's just this nice like Brown, it's it's almost got like a little bit of a red undertone to it nothing too heavy that you like you're like oh god so it's not orangey like if you would pick, pick up a bronzer and you're like boom and it's like orange it sort of has that red brown undertone which i find really just really beautiful and we also have right so not this palette but the rocketure blush from benefit is bomb i absolutely love it it's so pretty it's it almost i wouldn't say it really has a sheen to be honest like i don't find it to be anything shiny but it's just so beautiful and it's like this deeper pink than the sort of a light pink and it just blends out really well the only thing about it is it stinks i absolutely hate the smell of it but it is really beautiful and it just blends out like a dream so the fun part highlighters so for liquid highlighter i love the lush feeling younger skin tint this is absolutely beautiful and not enough people talk about this so this is what it looks like so obviously it blends out it's nothing too heavy but it has like this sort of yellow gold undertone and it's just so beautiful and i feel like you can put this on top of powders like i already set my face in everything and i put it on top and it doesn't bunch up and it doesn't get weird so I really do enjoy this. I feel like it's an absolutely beautiful product. And it's sort of like this white golden sort of undertone. Like it's just so pretty. And you don't need a lot of it either. Like you can add the tiniest amount. And like it's just so beautiful. Like I feel like you could wear it without any makeup. And everyone would be like, oh your skin looks like so dewy. And in reality you're just wearing a cream highlighter. Like it's so beautiful. We also have I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter Goddess of Faith. So look how cute this packaging is. It's beautiful. Um, this is absolutely stunning. And this is a drugstore highlighter. So you can buy this from, I think you can buy this from Superdrug. I'm not too sure, but it's also from, is it Tam Makeup? 
Oh, it doesn't stay on here. But it's basically the people that make Makeup Revolution as well. It's like their sort of brand. So when you put it on, this is what it looks like. It's just this beautiful sort of gold shade colour. And it's nothing glittery, it's nothing chunky. Like, it's just so beautiful. But it's kind of intense as well. So it's just absolutely stunning. I just feel like it's absolutely beautiful. And it's just, it's such a good highlight. And I feel like it needs some more love as well. Like, I don't hear people talk about it. It's absolutely stunning. We also have Mac O Darling. Oh, God, this is just... <laughs> This is so beautiful. This is actually blinding as fuck. Like, this is so intense. So it's this nice sort of golden shade. Put this under here. Like, look at this. Bam! Like I said, the same one. It's nothing chunky. It's nothing, like, glittery. This is really more intense than the Eye Heart uh, makeup one. So if you're sort of not into the too intense side, then I'd probably go for the Eye Heart makeup one rather than MAC. But... I remember it was a Christmas edition ages ago and I was like, oh, I want it. And then they bring it back as like normal. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Went into the store, picked that bad boy up. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. So highlights again. Right, I'm wearing this today and I've literally only worn it once. So I don't really want to say it's a favourite, but my oh my. Bloody beautiful. So this is the Ambient metallic strobe lightning powder so basically i have all three shades on top today and just look how beautiful this looks it is absolutely stunning like i, I just i just had to say something about it because it's absolutely beautiful but it's not going to be a 2017 favorite because i've literally worn it once but also if you can get your hands in it i know it was limited edition and i don't really want to talk about it but the nicole carrero highlighting palette from anastasia honestly this is so beautiful and they bring it back for Black Friday so hopefully they bring it back a couple more times because obviously you can get your hands on this it is absolutely stunning so let me just show you my typical one is Forever Young this is what I really love so let's put this down here so that's what Forever Young looks like it's just this sort of nice pinky gold undertone it's Oh, it's just so beautiful. So if you can get your hands on that palette, I really recommend that you do. So for facial sprays and like setting sprays, we have the Mario... Ba is it Baduski? I always say this wrong and I don't know if I'm saying it right. But this is a facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea. This is bomb. Like this is 10 times better than MAC Fix Plus and it's 10 times cheaper as well. I really, really, just really recommend that you try this over the Mac Fix Plus. Like Mac Fix Plus, I was a bit like, mm, I don't get the hype with it. But this, it looks so beautiful on top of foundation. And it also looks, like, beautiful without anything on. So I could put moisturiser on and put this on top. And my skin just looks really, like, sort of dewy and really flattering. So I really do enjoy this. For setting spray, we have Irma Decay All Nighter. So this is, I see a makeup setting spray, like I just said. But... I've gone into shops and I've tried to like spray other facial sprays and while they're like the Kat Von D one and I think it was the Glam Glow one as well, they're like, it's such a fine mist, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but with the Urban Decay I literally could spray like four sprays and I'd be good to go, like I feel like I use less of it, whereas with the other ones when I was spraying them I was like oh my god like I need like loads because it was such a fine mist, but it was like also a tiny spray. Like it wasn't sort of going around the face, if you know what I mean. Like this one, like it's just the way it sort of like goes out rather than just goes shoop kind of thing. So love Irma Decay on that scent spray. So the next products are lipsticks. So the first product is from Morphe. So this is the liquid lip in a brunch. This is such a gorgeous colour and... It smells absolutely divine as well. Like it smells like cupcakes. It's amazing. I picked these up on Beauty Bay. I think they were six pound in the sale, and I have a few other shades, but Brunchy is probably like one of the shades that I've used the most. And it doesn't feel very dry or anything like that. But I've established that I'm actually more of a gloss kind of girl. I don't like how a matte lip looks on my lips for some reason. If I had like no lines or whatsoever in my lips, then I think it'd look absolutely flawless. But it just looks like it always just looks like butthole lips almost and I just don't like that sort of look so 
I do always wear this with a gloss just because that's what I'm starting to prefer. Like, gloss looks so good on the lips. But it, the colour and everything's amazing that for £6 I just, just had to pick it up. Also, I had the Jouer, um Lip... Is it Lip Creme? It's not a lip, like a liquid lip. But the Lip Creme in Creme Brulee, yet again... I still have that vanilla cupcakes it's absolutely amazing these are so 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 beautiful if i could i'd actually wear these on their own like they're not too bad but yet again i do always still prefer a gloss but all the shades that i have tried which i think is free <laughs> they're absolutely beautiful they just they they go on really smooth and it's just everything about them's like really really good uh for lip glosses i've been loving the mouthy by megan mckenna lip gloss so this is in the shade regrets regrets is probably one of my favorite out of the bunch but the other three that she does have are absolutely beautiful it's just regrets is sort of the one that i picked up and used a bit more than the others it's absolutely stunning and it's just like this nice juicy gloss as well like let me just put a little bit on Oh, just look at that. I feel like everything's done with a bit of a gloss. And it's not like cupcakes. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And the last product is from Jouer. So these are their lip toppers. Basically, I just picked one out of the bunch that I have, but this is in the shade of Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez or however the hell you say it. It's just like this nice sort of glittery lip topper and of that vanilla cupcakes um i absolutely adore these i think they're absolutely amazing i pretty much the only one that i don't have is her new one which is funfetti i think because i know it was coming out for her birthday but i'm pretty sure that she did say they were coming to cult beauty and beauty bay so i will be getting my hands on that one when it comes around but i pretty much own all the other shades i just feel like they're absolutely beautiful they look amazing on the lips they look nice and juicy and shiny and just like a little bit glittery nothing like too much where you're like oh that's that's a lot of glitter even though i'd probably love that in a lip gloss that'd be so nice but anyway absolutely amazing so this is the end of the video um hopefully 2018 is a good year for you 2017 was an absolute shit show so happy new year everyone and yeah bye <laughs> really loved in 2017 <coughs> Oh, there's dust in my throat. Primer, so it's meant to condition your lashes. Lashes. It's just Hello, so today's video is going to be my 2017 favourite. So, I do find that it's like so much plus It brings up, brings out, I should do. Favourite videos, but the more. Thank you for doing that. Oh, God, I've got a highlight all over my laptop. Ew. Oh my god, my back's killing me.